Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Dragonair video. I'd like to thank Dragonair for continuing to sponsor the videos. And there will be a link down below where you can download Dragonair and get involved right now, uh, as well as a QR code you can click as well. So we're in season one. I've been pushing this new free to play season one account. Um, just wanted to actually walk through something here quickly the Walker's tra uh, Trails one. One of the things that I picked up since I did my last video was the rare hero option. And I did pick myself up a Sigrid. Okay, so Sigrid's probably the most uh, dominating rare that you can pick up for damage in Season 1, especially when you're trying to progress your account. So you can see what I'm doing a lot at the moment is just leveling. Yeah, we're, we're still in that early stage of Season 1. I'm leveling up my heroes, trying to get them towards level 90, and then you know some of the key ones to 95. And in that way, I'm able to kind of like smack my way through some of the late game content a bit further on now the reason why sigrid is so good is because sigrid is able to bring this this massive ult so you've got here deals 820 percent attack poison damage to an enemy and all enemies inflicted with debuffs so as long as you've got a way to get debuffs across the whole enemy rank sigrid's basically going to smack everyone incredibly hard and you want to be building with a decent amount of crit rate attack and crit damage now I'm still quite early on. My gear isn't doing things too crazy right now, but I do have the eyeball on, on Sigrid, so the wearer's ultimate skill gains more damage bonus. Clearly, that's going to help us when we're trying to do that ult. And, yeah, in terms of my pieces, we do have... Uh, at the moment, I've got an HP chest, but I'm looking more for the Goblin Brawler set. Eventually, we would want this to be an attack percent. Um, the gloves, crit rate gloves. Again, uh, you know, later down the line, we're going to want to be finding... Uh, just better quality ones to get a higher main stat. Uh, these are epic right now. And then I'm looking for really mainly like attack here, some crit rate, crit damage where I can within my gear. I don't have great gear right now, but we're kind of pushing. And if I can't find good stats, then we're we're finding the good two-piece sets as well. So even at 50% crit rate, still going to be a decent hit. And you can see in terms of my leveling, I've got my tank leveled up high. I'm basically looking for this combination of poison and, and fire to enable the Sigrid team. Yeah, so she's poison. So we got a tank who's uh, a fire tank in Horus. He was the freebie, actually a really good freebie tank. So we're just kind of like stacking up some defensive stats. Um, and then I've got me coming in the team as well. Uh, I'll show you. I'll show you the team running actually on, on Goblin. So you can see I'm kind of going between the flame domain and the Goblin's lair whilst doing... The quest line the quest line is kind of like my priority but every now and again you'll hit a wall and that wall basically means you need to go and get some more levels for your dudes yeah that's pretty much what it means so okay then so let's get involved so goblins there i'm actually taking down level six i'm close to seven um I'm taking down sixes at the moment and as i level up more we'll be doing it we'll be doing better and it, it's not too far until i start gear farming uh like properly here but you can see we've got horus in as our tank um, who's easily my most leveled person. I then got Garika, who's got some nice debuffs going out across the enemy in both the basic skill and the ult. Uh, we've got Letalis, who's a good support to go alongside Sigrid. Again, we've got debuffs going out, healing reduction on enemies. And we've got me coming in for more damage as like my character. You then see Sigrid is just coming in to basically lay all of my nukes. Basically between... Your starter champion, the one you made, and Sigrid should be doing near enough all of the damage. If you're a little bit kind of like tight on damage, you can eat food. I've got a food bonus on right now, which gives me like a um, a three percent attack boost. And then we go in and we're able to just kind of like work our way through the waves. So let's just turn alts on, free will. So you'll see when we get debuffs out like this. In fact, we just got straight through them. Sigrid's gonna end up popping off before we need it. But there, yeah, see that anyone with debuffs gets absolutely one shot by Sigrid at this level. And you want to be farming the highest level of goblins that you can. Oh, I'm so close to just being able to farm the next stage up. I'm not quite there. We're smacking through these really nicely, actually. Debuffs everywhere. What's the damage looking like right now? Garika's actually doing pretty well between. Eureka and Sigrid is kind of like pretty even actually. Some of it's just timing. Like if 
Secret pops off like that when there's debuffs out there. It's, it's nasty. As you get further into it and, and you're starting to really like hone in your farm, you will time the ults much better so that there's always debuffs out before a secret ult goes off. But I'm just trying to get as many of, of the kind of pots and things as I can right now. Um, and then obviously go to the different domains to get people leveled out so that we can start to push up towards level 90 with most of the crew. You can see here, I can actually level up my Sigrid a bit more. So quick upgrade. I was like, why is it not working? Quick upgrade's nice here. So you can just say like, what level do I want it to be? You can even say like, go beyond the level, which would be like the next cap if you'd collected enough of the stones. It's just basically telling you what you're missing. But yeah, we can go right the way up to 85 on Sigrid and start to get some damage done. You know, just improve the damage numbers as we start to move on. So lots going on. You will notice, and I did mention it in my last video, I haven't really pushed Garlac uh, and Isitarian, who are the two kind of like free freebie summoners. I just feel like at the moment, I want AoE damage dudes doing the work. And Sigrid is a way to do that with the right type of team setup. So, you know, we will be pushing that uh, over the next... We'll be pushing other teams as we get going. But for now, I'm just trying to make sure those teams are great. And Furbaf will probably eventually come in as my tank ahead of Horus. Because Furbaf is, is super good, actually, as a tank as well. Start to put some work into him. So, yeah, lots going on. Um, we're keeping the account moving. And, uh, yeah, I guess, what, day seven or something? Day six or seven? We're really starting now to just push champion progression. So there you go, guys. Sigrid is definitely a rare you want to pick up and use. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you again, Dragonair, for sponsoring the video. Don't forget, there will be links down below if you want to download and get involved yourself. I've been Hell Hades. I'll see you soon.